Hangster's Hot Rods, located in Central Florida at Daytona Beach. Welcome to our 25,000 square foot indoor facility, indoor showroom, where we house all of our vehicles, all of which we own. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down, whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago. We leave them up not only from our Daytona Beach showroom, but also from our Pennsylvania showroom. Also, we are pleased to announce the addition of our newest showroom here in Daytona. No, it's not cars, well, kinda. Um, it's located at 2385 South Ridgewood and it is Hangster's Garage, hangstersgarage.com. We sell and install automotive parts and accessories. We ship them, we install them, vintage air systems, uh, Dakota digital dashes, uh, different interior changeouts, uh, custom uh, front disc brake conversions, and among many other things, lift kits. So check that out, hangstersgarage.com. You Mopar fans ready? Today we have a beautiful car to present to you. 1968 Dodge Super B. It is a 440 car, so it is not a numbers matching motor. Uh, in 68, the Super Bs were only offered with either a 383 or the 426 Hemi. Um, it does have power brakes. It does have a fender tag. It does have power steering. And what's that funky thing in front of the motor, on top of the motor? That is an AC compressor. It does have vintage air. Awesome. Let's check it out. Again, 68 Super B, blue in color. It's a fantastic car, and I'm going to show you many reasons why. Uh, first, let's start out with the uh, top of the hood, tops of the fenders. Uh, paint on the car, driver quality paint job, real nice paint. Uh, no um, blistering cracking on the tops of either the driver fender or the passenger fender. And uh, no blistering cracking, fading whatsoever on the top of the hood. Looking at the grill area, uh, grill's in one piece. It's not uh, cracked, chipped. Uh, there is a little tiny chip there on the nose of the car. Uh, the condition of the front bumper is pretty good. Uh, chrome on the front bumper. It's not a new front bumper, but you can, um, you know, there's, there's no uh, peeling of the chrome. There's no rust around the bolts. Uh, it does have uh, a little bit of patina there on the front of the bumper, but overall in pretty good condition. Uh, paint quality on the uh, driver's side front fender, real nice. Uh, the color's uniform. The, uh, the uh, paint is, is nice. Uh, there's no cracking, there's no fading. Um, there is a little tiny imperfection right there. It's very, very, very slight, uh, but it is there if you're looking at it in the light at the right angle. It's like a little ripple or something. Um, door fitment uh, on the driver door. Uh, body lines are uniform. You can see from the top of the uh, fender there, the top of the quarter, everything's uniform going down. Door lines up nicely to the uh, to the bottom of the rocker. Uh, the front window glass, uh, nice and clear. Clarity's nice. Uh, no chips, no cracks. Um, nice and clear. Uh, window glass looks looks to be in, in great condition. Uh, dual mirrors. Uh, they are the expensive Mopar mirrors. Uh, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Uh, paint on the driver door is fantastic. Uh, the top, the center, the bottom, again, uh, no blistering, no cracking, no fading. Looks real nice. Uh, your chrome around your windows, your drip rail molding is in good condition. Uh, the glass on the vent window, on the driver window, and on the uh, rear quarter window all looks to be in pretty nice shape. It's not uh, heavily scratched or, or deteriorated, faded. Take a look inside the uh, driver door, the uh, door panel itself, you got, it's painted up top, it's painted down low, and then there is a vinyl door panel in the center, and the uh, vinyl door panel is in good shape, it's not all warped, faded, torn, anything like that. When you do open up the driver door, uh, dome light illuminates, and it, it uh, shows to you a, a real nice uh, headliner, good condition, um, it's not uh, faded, um, torn. Courtesy lights in the center console illuminate. 
You can see it's an automatic in the floor. I mentioned it does have vintage air. Uh, your clarity on all your gauges there in the uh, console, or I'm sorry, in the uh, in the dash itself, uh, all good good shape, nice clarity. Even the TikTok tacks working. Uh, center console's in nice condition. Um, we'll show you that on a test drive. Vinyl on the seats is in nice shape. Driver's side. Floor mats, brand new. Underneath the floor mats, carpeting's in great shape. Uh, what else? Let's take a look in the back seat. Uh, back seat, again, the vinyl's in pretty nice condition. Not ripped, not torn, not discolored. Uh, carpeting in the back seat, in good shape. Same thing, no tears, no discoloration. Uh, seat backs are in good shape. Pretty nice vehicle. Uh, body lines on the car are fantastic. Uh, the rear quarter's nice and straight. Driver door's nice and straight. Front fender, everything lines up just like it should. You can see that the uh, door fits flushly there to the uh, lower rocker and to the uh, rear quarter. Uh, Mickey Thompson's on the rear, gives it that uh, nice muscle car look, that uh, black with the dog dish type uh, hubcap there, and then the uh, Mickey Thompson tires. Uh, glass clarity um, in the rear, uh, not only the glass itself, but also the uh, chrome moldings around the rear window, excellent condition. You can see that your hat rack there in the back. Uh, it's not faded, discolored, torn, anything like that. <clears throat> Paint on the deck lid. Uh, it's nice. Again, uh, hopefully you can see in the video presentation, nothing's cracked, nothing's blistered, um, no areas of clear coat fade, uh, no fish eyes, no orange peel. Real nice paint job. The stripes um, going on the deck lid, dropping down onto the uh, rear quarters in great shape as well. Uh, you got Dodge there in your rear valance between your uh, brake lights, tail lights, reverse lights. That area is in good shape from a, a paint quality standpoint, and the, the, the Dodge logos are in good condition. Super B logo there on the uh, rear of the car. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper, about the same quality as the front bumper. Uh, they're not brand new, but there's not any areas of uh, concern. Let's take a look down here. Oh, that's just a little tiny rub mark that, that should come off. but. Uh, there's no uh, rust around the uh, rear bumper bolts. Uh, there's no flaking, pitting of the chrome. Take a look in the uh, trunk. Check out the paint on the back of the deck lid. Nice. It's not uh, aged or, or, or you know flaking off or rusted. Uh, trunk seal's nice there around the uh, trunk. Looks newer. You do have a trunk mat, and then under the trunk mat you have carpeting, and then. If I can manage to uh, pull the carpeting up without yanking out my brake lights here, the uh, trunk's nice and solid, you can see. So uh, no jack, no spare. They're not in here. We didn't take them out, I promise. I'm not in the jack business, spare tire business. Um, we didn't get one with the car, so therefore it does not come with the car. Um, Super B emblem sticker on both sides, uh, driver's side quarter uh, and passenger side quarter, both are in nice shape. Nothing's peeling, um, nothing's chipped or blemished. Uh, they're real nice. The white, the white stripes, the Super B lettering, and the uh, Super B actual logo. Passenger side of the car, straight, just like the driver's side. You have your rear quarter, your uh, passenger side door, your front fender. Everything lines up like it should. Wheels and tires in nice condition. Your uh, uh, moldings there uh, around your wheel openings are in nice shape. You know, you have your, uh, your chrome wheel opening moldings around all four uh, wheels there. Those are in good condition. The paint on the roof itself. And then on the uh, drop down going to the rear quarter, everything looks good. Uh, again, there, there's no clear fade. There's no uh, any kind of bubbles at all or blistering or cracking in the paint. Take a look in the passenger side of the car. Uh, once again, passenger side uh, door panel there, painted up top, painted at the bottom. Both of those are in good shape. You can see it's not uh, uh, worn off or rusted or rubbed off. 
Uh, door panel itself, it's not all warped, ripped, torn, discolored. Um, the uh, passenger side seat, just as the uh, driver's side was, you know, same condition. Vinyl's not torn, uh, heavily worn. Uh, you got seat belts up front, no seat belts in the rear, but you do have seat belts up front. Once again, your uh, the, the dome light and the uh, courtesy light illuminate on the driver's side. Looks like the passenger side one might be out or have gone out, so we'll have to stick a new bulb in that. But they both do work. Um, Pentastar down low on the uh, passenger side front fender. Again, paint quality. If you take a look, you know, in the photos up close, we'll get a, a close uh, picture of that Pentastar there on the uh, lower fender. You can check that for any kind of blistering or cracking down low because there is none. So that's a, that's a good thing. Nice car so far. 1968 Dodge Super B, 440, power steering, power brakes, and air. We're going to take it outside, we're going to put it on the rack and check out the undercarriage, and then shortly after that we will do a test drive video. I encourage you guys to visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach and look at whatever vehicle that you might be interested in purchasing. Uh, I, especially if you're a first cl time classic car buyer, I encourage you to visit our showroom in person. We'd be happy to pull the vehicle outside for you. You can take a look at the paint and the sunshine. We'd be happy to put it on the rack, just like we're gonna do here in a couple minutes. You can do all the same things I'm doing. You can check out the floor pans. You can check out the exhaust system, bottom of the motor, bottom of the transmission, tire condition. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car starts, how it steers, how it stops, how it performs, how the tranny shifts, all that stuff. This way, when the car shows up, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are zero surprises because you were here you looked at the car firsthand and you know exactly what you're getting. We do a lot of sight unseen business. In fact, that is how the majority of our business is conducted. I've sold buyers multiple cars, you know, two and three cars to this day, I've never met them. Um, so it's not uncommon, but uh, you know, if your expectations of, of a classic car are those of a brand new one, you probably should visit our showroom and I'll show you why you can't, your expectations cannot be the same and I'll explain to you why your expectations cannot be the same. But uh, this 1968 Dodge Super B is an excellent example of a driver quality car. Again, 440, fender tag, power steering, power brakes, air, center console car, automatic, great paint, great interior, nice clean trunk, uh, nice detailed engine compartment. Car has a lot going for it. Let's continue the presentation outside where we will, uh, or possibly indoors, see what, what racks open back there. And then we will, uh, give you guys a little undercarriage shot. And then we will do my favorite part. Anytime I have a 440 Mopar, it's, it's real fun. We'll take it out on a little test drive and see how it runs out. Underneath our 1968 Dodge Super B. So the uh, 440 is a 75 block. We took a photo of the uh, block number and date for you. So uh, you will have that up on the website. The uh, brakes up front are drum, power drum brakes on all four corners. Uh, the oil pan, Looks nice and dry at this time. Headers, driver and passenger, which made it a little bit difficult for us to get that uh, picture. Uh, you can see the heat wrap here around the header. That's because right up there is the starter. So we, you know, whoever built the car, put the car together, put the headers on, put that heat wrap there for the starter purposes. Uh, flywheel is covered. Frame rails on the car, both sides are fantastic, driver and passenger side. Going to continue back off the headers to the H-pipe and a uh, set of mufflers in the rear. There's no name brand on them. The uh, floor pans, you can see, clearly see, there's no undercoating. There's nothing. There's, they're solid all the way from the front, all the way to the back, driver and passenger. I mean, I don't know if they're the original floor pans. My guess would probably be, be no, but uh, I have no documentation of the restoration of the build, of the paint, of the motor, anything like that. So. What we know about the car, I present to you in this video, and that's it. Frame rails on the rear. Um, here where we have our lift at uh, driver's side, passenger side, both are in great shape uh, throughout. Uh, the exhaust is in fantastic condition. Again, I don't have a name brand on the mufflers, but the pipes, everything, uh, all the welds look real nice. No rust holes, rod holes, pin holes in those. 
Uh, drop downs on the rear quarters. You have large quarters on the 68 Super B. Um, it is complete metal. I hope you guys can see that because they're fantastic. Um, they're either original or the, uh, you know, whoever did the workmanship did a really nice job. You can tell neither one is packed with any kind of mud whatsoever. It's nice and thin, both there on the uh, inside and the outside, inner, inner uh, quarter to the uh, outer quarter. Uh, nice, big, huge gas tank powered at 440. Uh, do not buy this if you're looking for fuel economy because it's not going to be that car for you. You might want to look at a Kia or a uh, Fiat or a smart car or something. The uh, pipes, um, tips coming off the pipes, uh, chrome, as we showed you in the showroom. Leaf springs look to be in good condition. Super nice car. Now we're gonna do my favorite part, which is to go drive it. But before we do that, let's discuss payment options. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cash. If you're coming to visit us here, we do still have people from time to time bring us cash. Also, uh, cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. If you are financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10 year loan on this car with approved credit. 10% of the purchase price down and then your remaining balance over that five to 10 year period, whatever it is you get approved for. You can put down more if you'd like to, but they're gonna require you put down a minimum of 10%. Once the car's funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. We go through the car one last time, we check the wipers, we check the horn, we check the brake lights, we check to make sure that AC's blowing cold, uh, things like that. Once the guys tell me it's good to go and it's through inspection, we call a carrier for pickup. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. Sometimes it's a little longer uh, if you're in a more rural or remote area, but uh, we will get you to car as fast as, you, as fast as we can. We know you're excited about your purchase. We're excited to get it to you. I promise you we work quickly, and uh, the whole process is a lot faster than you think, especially if you're on time with your paperwork or if you're on time with your wire transfer. We'll get this car heading to you ASAP. Let's set it down on the ground. We will take it out in the Florida sunshine. We will do a test drive in our 1968 440 Dodge Super B. Hankster's Hot Rods has our 69 Hemi Roadrunner heading to Illinois. And the driver is unloading a great collection of cars. Audi R8, Ferrari, Porsche, Maserati. Nice, so hey, we're all car people, right? So check it out. That's what's being loaded with our uh, Hemi Roadrunner. Back to our 68 Super B. Horn. <laughs> The tick tock tack is working. Tick tock and tack. Okay, what do we want to do next? Um, no flashers, no lights. How about turn signals? Driver, passenger. So I'll tell you thing. I'll tell you guys the four things on the car that do not work. Three of them will be fixed. One of them won't. The fuel gauge doesn't work. Needs a new sending unit. It's already over at the shop. Needs to be put in. The speedo cable's bad. The speedometer does not work. It's over at the shop, needs to be put in. The vintage air system is literally three months old. Whoever put it in didn't charge it right or didn't tighten something right because everything turns on and it works. Like, look. Okay? Compressor engages, no cold air. So we'll figure that out. So air will be fixed, speedo will be fixed, fuel gauge will be fixed. The radio is original, does not work. I do not care. It will not get fixed. But it's there, it's original, it looks cool, and uh, you have an awesome 440 Super B, so who needs a radio? Back to our presentation, temperature. Right where we should be, right about, I don't know, 200. Uh, oil pressure, alternator. Um, center console's in good shape. Dash pad's in great shape. Steering wheel doesn't have any cracks in it or anything like that. All your dash components around your, uh, you know, this is a, a very expensive kit through like Classic Industries or something, you know, it's, it's very expensive. All nice and uh, not, not cracked, uh, falling apart, anything like that. Headliner's in great shape. So, let's play the how much gas do I have in the tank game. Hopefully it's enough to make it through this test drive. If not, we'll record our breakdown and it'll be a great conversation. Let's take it out and drive and see how it runs. Our Super B runs fantastic. Let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice and straight. Nice, tight response in the steering. No tire vibrations, no engine vibrations, no uh, drivetrain vibrations. 
Uh, we're going probably about 30 miles an hour. Grandma and her Lincoln, she's dusting it off for the day, I guess. Gonna go put it away. We'll run it through some gears for you once we get up here around the corner. But uh, again, the car tracks nice and straight, drives real nice, temperature's good, like we're about 200, which is right about where we should be for a 440 when it's 100 degrees in Florida in July. Oh, she is killing me. Car stops just like it should too, look. As long as we're going 10 miles an hour, I might as well st stop. Car has good acceleration. We're running through a couple gears here for you. Show you what this 440 has. how fast we were going. If I get pulled over, I can at least tell them the speedometer's broken. I wouldn't be lying. Nice car. The steering's nice and tight on this car, and, uh, the performance is real nice as well. Nice big 440. Tack's working. We'll have the air working soon. You roll up the windows, have nice air conditioning in this fine muscle car. Look, power disc brake or power drum brakes. No issue stopping whatsoever. Car idles nice. We're not spitting, sputtering, stalling out. We're not overheating. Here we are at idle, nice idle, nice car. This one will not last. This is a nice vehicle. Call, text, or email. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We will have close to 100 photographs of this car up on our site today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this car includes shipping on an enclosed carrier in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end, internal components. So if the oil pan starts leaking, valve covers start leaking, uh, but you need a new battery, you need new tires, need new brakes, you know, all that kind of stuff's on you. It's maintenance items. However, if a uh, major mechanical breakdown happens, engine failure, tranny failure, um, you have a warranty that's going to cover it. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, so you don't have to take it to a Dodge dealer, you don't have to take it to a special muscle, muscle car restoration shop, uh, you don't have to bring it back to Florida or bring it to Hangster's Hot Rods, you probably take it to that same person that's working on your daily driver. Is the price of this 68 Super B negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We can help you facilitate the shipping, put you in touch with somebody that can get it done for you. However, you will pay the driver when they show up with the car. Whether it's cash or check, they do not accept credit cards. Of course, if you are a collector, maybe you have your own enclosed or open trailer, you'd like to come trailer to Super B home, you can do that as well. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, you can certainly uh, pick the car up and drive it home. Orlando, St. Augustine, Melbourne, Jacksonville. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. We do export these cars as well, and we can handle that whole process for you from A to Z also. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida, and our website one last time is hangsters.com. Please check us out.